The parents of 18 year old Jamarcus McFarland spoke publicly for the first time since his tragic death. McFarland died last week when an elevator failed at a student housing building on Highland Avenue. That's where we find Fox 5's Brooke Zahner tonight with more on what McFarland's parents and their attorneys had to say. Brooke? Yeah, Tom and Courtney, you can just imagine how distraught this family is about this incident. They say they really are overwhelmed, as you just heard them say, and they're looking for answers as to why this would happen. And the attorneys representing the family say that that elevator really should not have been operating in the first place. The elevator just smashed on these football players and they need somebody up here on the third floor. 911 calls flooded in last week after 18 year old Jamarcus McFarland became trapped from a collapsed elevator. Our teammate is stuck in the elevator. The details of the incident are still under investigation. On Tuesday, attorneys representing McFarland's family and his parents spoke publicly for the first time. Attorneys with the Cochran firm say they're opening their own investigation into the incident. This incident involving Jamarcus was predictable. It was predictable because this apartment complex had a long history history of issues and problems, including maintenance issues specifically related to the elevators in question. Atlanta police released body camera video of the accident. Surveillance video shows a crowd of people in the elevator. One of them was able to get off safely. We are not showing the full video, but it shows McFarland getting pinned between floors. My son came here to do what he liked to do, and that was play football. And he really enjoyed that and he um, wasn't able to fulfill that and I just won't answer so I'm, I don't know, I'm just overwhelmed by the whole thing. The state insurance commissioner's office says the building was a year past due for an inspection. However, the property manager of the building claims the elevator passed similar annual inspections and it was not due for another five year inspection until 2024. And Jamarcus was the victim of something that these owners and managers at that apartment complex knew or should have known were going to be a problem. And right now, the attorneys have not filed any lawsuits in connection into this case, and that's simply because they are continuing to investigate. They say they're going to be looking into everything regarding this incident, from the property management to the elevator manufacturer to the prep academy where McFarland went to school. Reporting live in Northeast Atlanta, I'm Brooke Sonner, Fox 5 News. Oh, that surveillance video is so difficult to watch. Brooke, thanks for the latest.